Are you a people pleaser? Then this is the video for you. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you three things you need to do in order to stop being a people pleaser. Okay, admit it. Are you one of those people who you just can't say no or you just want everybody to be happy and you just want to be helpful to everybody and you just put everybody else first i hear you i understand i used to be like that as well i am a reformed people pleaser <laughs> There is light at the end of the tunnel. There is light at the end of the tunnel. But we all know that there is nothing wrong in wanting to help people, wanting to be supportive to people. There is absolutely nothing wrong in that. So please don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that, you know, you need to be cold hearted and not help and not support and, and, and you know, just shun everybody. I'm not saying that. But when it becomes detrimental to who you are, and what you really want to do and who you really want to be, then that's when it becomes a problem. And it's important that if you are a people pleaser, <laughs> that you A, recognize it to start off with, recognize what it is that you're doing and what is happening and that you look to try and, 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 and make the changes that you need in order for you to live a better life. So here are three things that I want to share with you quickly on what you can do in order to help you stop being a people pleaser. First and foremost, you need to understand who you are and be true to yourself. If you are being called to do something that you really don't feel comfortable doing, then you need to have the strength and the boldness to recognize first and foremost that actually no, this isn't what I want to do and no, this isn't what I feel um, is the right thing to do for me. Once you get that revelation that this is not comfortable for you, this is not where you see yourself, then that helps you then to recognize that, okay, I need to do something about it. You know, I need to make a change and I need to do something about this situation. So let's say that you're at work and you've been asked to do something. Now, of course, you're, if you're in a job, you're being paid to work, okay? <laughs> I'm not telling you to don't listen to your boss or whatever. But if you feel that people are forever asking you to do things and forever offloading on you and overloading you, then have the courage and the strength to actually say, look, we need to have a conversation about this. Either it's not in your job remit to be doing this, or it's your, you, maybe you don't have the skills to be able to do it. It's just not what you should be doing in general, but you need to have the strength to be able to say to whoever it is, and it could be in a relationship, it's not just work, it could be in a relationship, um, could be in a family situation. You need to have the strength to be able to say, hang on a minute, stop. I think we need to have a discussion about this. I think we need to talk about this situation. And once you do that, once you actually stand up and say, I'm not comfortable with this, I'm not happy about this, I don't think this should be happening, then it helps to kind of like open up a dialogue to be able to improve the situation. I believe that, you know, once you really stand in your strength, once you know your ID and you know your strength and you know your boldness and you can tap into that, because we all have it, we all have it inside, you know, it's just getting that out. Um, once we step into that boldness and that courage, you'll start to see a shift because a lot of people will put things on you because you're accepting them. You know, if you're not stepping out and standing up and saying anything, then they just assume that, okay, well, it's fine. Then they're fine with it. But if you actually stay strong and say, actually, no, I'm not happy about this. Let's have a conversation. Let's have a dialogue to figure this out then that will help to be able to firstly let the other person know because maybe they don't even know, they're not aware of how this is making you feel. So it lets them know, but then it helps to shift the conversation and shift the situation to where you would like it to be. And on the back of that, you have to establish boundaries. You have to be specific with what it is that you want. You know, you have to be clear, you have to be precise and be as defined as you can and be willing to say, this is, this is how I would like it to be. 
you know, because somebody can't change something if they don't know what it is that needs changing. You have to be as clear and, and concise as you can with this is what I would like, this is why I would like it, and, and give the person clarity on what it is that you are asking for. Because how can somebody help and how can somebody support and how can somebody make changes when they don't actually know what the, those changes and that support looks like? So the clearer you can be, the more boundaries that you can create, just make it clear to that person and give them an understanding on, on why you have set this then that just helps moving forward with, oh, okay, well, you know, at work, we can't put that on her because she's this is not a part of her remit or this is not what she's gonna do. Um, and it just makes it clear and avoids that whole grayness of, you know, where they're not, people are not quite sure where you stand. So establishing clear boundaries will really help the situation. And then finally is having the, the strength and the boldness to say no. Just no, flat out no. If there's something that you don't feel comfortable doing, something that you don't want to do, um, say no. Just say no. And, and if you feel led to give a reasoning behind it, then fine, give the reasoning. If you don't, then that's fine too. But sometimes people are so scared of that word. N-O, N-O, no. <laughs> I'm not doing it, no. If it's really something that is, is deep in your heart to say that I'm, I don't want to do this, then you have to have the strength to say, no, I don't want to do this. And if you want to give a reason behind it, then this is why I don't want to do it because it makes me feel uncomfortable or because I can't do it or because it's just um, it's just not what I feel led to do. What it, whatever it may, may be, don't keep trying to please people just to keep them happy. Because I know there's a lot of people who they're following jobs and career paths and things that their mothers and their fathers and other people wanted them to do when they just don't want to do it. You know, they're following a, an industry or a profession that it's just not what they want to do. They want to be over in the creative field and they're being pushed over into, you know, finance, legal, doctoring, whatever, whatever it may be, or vice versa, vice versa. If it's not what you want to do, then you have to stand up because we only get one chance of this life. We only get one chance on this earth. And if you're spending your whole time doing something that makes you miserable and you're not happy about, then that is so sad. It's so disheartening and it doesn't serve the world at all. Not at all. Because there are people that need to see you shine in your gift and your ability and your skill that are waiting for you specifically, you, not me, not anybody else, but you to shine your light in order to give them permission to shine their light. So don't be afraid of the word no. They'll get over it. <laughs> the other people will get over it, but you have to be true to you and true to what it is that you want. So I hope that this video has helped you today. Please leave me a comment down below and let me know what other tips that you have when it comes to being a people pleaser. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I shall see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.